What do you say we link some text boxes in InDesign in this tutorial? Okay guys, I've got some blank text boxes on the left and then some text on the right. Let's look at just empty new text boxes here on the left. I have two of them, I've got them both selected. Look at these little white squares on the upper left and lower right hand corners. These are your in and out ports with the text. So you're gonna be linking these together to link your text boxes. Basically, make sure you have the selection tool and select one of your text boxes. So let's say the text is going from this text box to the import of the next one. So click on that out port. Notice how the icon changes to a little link, a little chain link. Click on that text box and now they're linked together. Anything from this one is going to flow into this one. Pretty simple. So you could set up a template that way. The other way you can do it is by clicking the out port of this one and you can click and drag to draw a new text box. And you can link as many of these together as you want. The other thing that you can do here, click on this out port once again. And if you just click, it's gonna create a text box, the width of your margin all the way down to the bottom of your margin. So that's a couple ways to link text boxes that don't have text in them. But what about text boxes that do have text in them? When we're looking at this guy over here, we actually see this little red plus sign. That's called overset text. Now to see the actual text you have overset, you need to go into story mode, which is command or control Y on your keyboard while you have that text box selected. And it shows you everything inside that text box. And you can expand this to see all the text. As you see, we have a lot in here. Look at this left-hand side. There's this red line that begins. That red line is everything outside of your text box. All of this is overset text that would flow into another text box. So I'm gonna exit out of that. So what we wanna do is go back to that selection tool and the same thing as our blank empty text boxes, click on that overset text and we could draw a new text box. We could click and create one the size of our margin. And if you wanna create a text box that goes to the end of your document and includes all of the text that's overset, hold shift while you click and it's gonna create text boxes on multiple pages. As you see, we scroll down, it uses the margins to create text boxes the size of your page and just flows that text all the way through. So now any text that we are typing in here or even if we're just returning down, it's moving all the text throughout our document like so. Now another thing you can do is you can create text boxes or delete text boxes in the middle of all of these links and they'll just add right in. Let me show you how to do that. If we scale this text box down, obviously there will be less text inside of it and it's gonna just flow through the rest. But if we wanna add another text box right in here between these two that don't break the link of all, everything, what we can do is click on this import right here and simply click and drag and draw a new text box right there. So that insert this in the middle of all of these linked together text boxes. You can do the same thing from the import to create text boxes backwards in your chain or from the outport of a text box to do the same going forward. And then within all of these linked text boxes, it's easy to just delete one and it doesn't break it, it just moves on to the next box. You can very simply just click on those in and out ports and then if there is overset text, it's gonna place it into the next text box you create. So you can create templates like this with already linked, pre-linked, I guess, text boxes. Or if you have text already in your document, you wanna go ahead and link some boxes together. I definitely recommend it. It allows the text to flow through these text boxes or flow through your pages, which is incredibly helpful when you have a lot of body copy. Thanks you guys, I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. We'll see you next time.